Hello everyone, and today we are actually going to be exploring about Canva lessons. So how to create a lesson, how to share lessons, and what's great about these is that it's not just the slide deck in particular, but uh, corresponding uh, activities that go along with it. So students can fully uh, see what the lessons are throughout the day, or even if they miss the day, they could always go back and see what the activities were and the lessons were for uh, the day that they missed. So let's take a little deep dive here. If I actually scroll on the left hand side, you're going to see a section called templates. So if I click that first, I like to always share what is already pre made uh, from Canva, because they do have a, uh, a bunch of uh, templates ready to go. So here's some ready to teach lessons. So we have things on life cycles, polygon and Pythagorean theorem, pronouns, uh, just some quick ideas off the top right here. Uh, even if you scroll down, you could even uh, look at some templates based on grade. So depending what your grade is from K to 12, uh, you could take a look at some of their uh, templates there. Some future skills, there's some class agendas and some designs if you're uh, looking at creating your own as well. So if I go ahead and click on one of these, I'm going to click the solar system one. Um, and we can actually get a quick little preview as to what this looks like and we can go ahead and even use this lesson. So what they're going to do, they're just going to take that lesson, save it to our folder, and you'll see it gives us everything from the description, uh, and we can go ahead and edit this if we'd like to, and all of the lesson pieces that are attached to this. So starting with uh, a poster to a presentation to build an SEL model with a whiteboard and research planet poster. So before I go into those, um, I want to look at the reporting side of things too. It looks like nothing's been assigned. Um, this is something that I'm still learning. There's just always something new in Canva. But if we go ahead and click on assign lesson, we could assign it to a specific classroom. So if we go ahead and click on that, add whatever um, messages or other details that we need, we can go ahead and click assign and the students will see that in their uh, Canva classrooms. So that's something really neat for them to do. So let's take a look at this on our own. If I go ahead and open lesson, uh, we can see that it does open in editing mode and we can start learning from this poster here. Um, see, take a look at all the planets, the sun, asteroids, etc. from there. And as we're ready to move on, we can actually see the presentation and go through the presentation ourselves too. So what's nice about this is that we assign this to the students and they'll get their own copy, which will they can edit and uh, make comments as they go. So they can go one, one piece at a time throughout the lesson. Um, and you can even do it in the class as well and follow through with the students. Uh, if we go down to building a scale model, we want to create our own copy or edit the activity template. Uh, I always say for students, create your own copy. That way uh, you can do what you would like to do on your own terms and you don't have to worry about other people messing up your work and things like that. So I'm just going to take a look at what's in this activity here. So they give us a quick activity about uh, figuring out the relative diameter compared to the Earth. So they give us a first few couple of examples and they ask us to uh, complete the rest. This one here, building a scale model, give us those instructions, take a closer look, and then some resource graphics. So a uh, really nice little piece activity in there. And then finally, our uh, research planet poster again, create our own copy. So that way students can see what they need to do. Here's a quick looks like uh, introduction, make your planet unique. Okay, so this is a nice little graphic organizer for them to work on before they um, create something brand new on their own and turn it in as part of the assignment. So um, Four quick pieces, all created by a teacher, put together in one specific lesson. The other thing that pops in my mind too, and maybe we can take a look at this together, um, is why not have make this instead of one lesson, but consider it an entire unit. So maybe instead of one presentation with three activities, why not even have all of our presentations in here? So lesson one, lesson two, lesson three, lesson four, something else to consider when we're kind of using this. I always think about what are the multiple ways of using things? Because there, we all know that there's not just one way of doing anything. So I want to hop back into Canva here. And to create a lesson on our own, we are going to go into 
projects. And you can see here, they give us some um, save time ready to teach lessons. So they remind us about exploring our lessons, recent design. So those are the pieces that we looked at. And then right below there for our projects, these are um, all of the lessons that I've kind of played around with uh, before recording. So all of those folders are pre-created when you start creating um, new lessons or taking copies of lessons. Um, so let's create a new one from scratch. So create a new lesson. Uh, let's say for this one, if we uh, follow along with that um, space theme, uh, I already have an idea that popped in my head, remind me of grade six space. Um, let's call this um, selling a planet. So the description for this, and I'm going to create this together with us, uh, description of this is um, I want you to choose a space body. And by all means, take this idea too. I used this for when I was teaching grade six uh, quite a few years ago. Uh, I want you to choose a space body, and I want you to learn as much about it as possible. Your job is to uh, pretend you are a real estate agent and selling a home on your planet or moon, what are some key factors you want to sell to your customer? There we go. So that's our little uh, lesson activity that we're going to do for the students. Okay, now we're going to scroll down to the bottom. We can see we can start adding some of our activities here. So first one, add activity or lesson. So we can create something new uh, brand spanking you, or we can go into exploring lessons so we can take a piece of something else. Uh, we can choose our design, upload, import from the app. So lots of options we can do here. If we go ahead and add a lesson or activity, we can, let's see what happens when we choose design. So we can actually go back into our projects. We'll go back into what we have here. Oh, there's that solar system one. So there's those two lessons that we have available. Look in here and we can actually take something from uh, that uh, lesson activity that we saw not too long ago. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that, click move. It adds it to this activity here. And we can also see what the activity experience is. So a resource would mean to me that it's just a view only copy. So it's just something that they're looking at, uh, or we can make it solo work. So students complete their own copy of this activity and share it back with you. I feel like this is, um, probably a really good way if you want to have them work on something and then you assess their own work as opposed to collaboration. But you can think about collaboration as well. So we'll do that. So add the next activity to your lesson. Maybe we want to create something new. So take a look at some of the activities that you are able to do. We can even include a YouTube video uh, template if we want to. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and add presentation. And then this is where we could actually uh, start creating our own lessons if we had to uh, still make one from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and go to file and actually title this properly. So selling uh, planet. Here we go. And then we have our slides. Okay, so let's get this slideshow so we can share it with our students. So in the interest of time for this video, I'm actually just going to Go up into here where we have design templates and notice here that there's like that little uh, magic design logo there. We're going to use a little bit of AI and uh, we are going to create a slideshow. I actually just tested this so it's still save about selling a planet. So once we do that, it's actually going to give us a few templates here. Um, so we can go media, just taking a look at what else we can actually look at. Uh, I'm going to stick with our template. So from Magic Design, we have a few already planned and created for us just to kind of start us off. I'm going to take a look at this one, apply all seven pages, and we could actually see Exploring the Universe for Sale, and then some ideas. So this could be something that we can even have as a starting point and then tweak as we need necessary, um, or like I said, create our own as we need to. Um, so that is a good starting point here, I feel. Um, okay, so if we close that, 
and then head back here. There's our selling a planet. I'm going to skip that tour. Um, so now we can just keep adding to our lesson. So add as many pieces as we want um, for the students to really uh, enjoy this activity here. And then, like I said, once again, we could always just assign lesson, choose your Canva classroom, and then the students can go through it in their uh, Canva classroom through like their projects and such. So they can complete all the activities and then turn them into you. And you'll see all the things um, set in the reporting. So you could always go back and take a look how the students did. So something really neat to look at. Like I said, I'm still exploring this uh, myself um, because as we all know with Canva, there's just lots in here. Uh, but if you're interested in learning more, feel free to subscribe to my channel and like this uh, video. Uh, also, feel free to send me a few comments about uh, some other videos that you'd like to see. I'm happy to explore or something that you feel I should be exploring a little bit more. Um, and I'm happy to uh, reflect back on that with everybody. Uh, so have yourselves a great day and see you all soon.